Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Hey, what do you know? Two days of videos in a row. Anyways, um, glad the last one worked out. Anyways, today is, like the title says, my Veterans Day Shave. So, what I figured I would do is every single product of mine that I'm going to be using in this shave has come from a veteran. Anyways, um, oh, um, happy Veterans Day to Dennis O'Drain, Jill from She Shaves with Jill, and my dad. He probably won't see this, but, um, because he don't, you know, watch YouTube, but happy Veterans Day to him as well. He was in the Navy during World War, I mean, not during World War, during the Vietnam conflict. Anyways. And so, let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we are using. The razor, I got, um, some of you may not recognize this razor from past videos if you're newer. And it is this. My F3 or F1 1960 Gillette Flare Tip Super Speed. Um... I got this razor from a veteran of World War II named Dave Stam, who is no longer with us. And the blade in it is actually one of the Gillette stainless steel double-edged blades that he used when he was alive. Some of the last blades he used when he was alive. Um, when I got the razor, it was given to me by his stepdaughter and, um, you know, with some Gillette stainless steel blades. The soap, which I got from Dennis O'Drain, is Razor Rock What the Puck Orange Sunrise. And it is a triple milled soap, and it comes in this little plastic container. And it's triple milled, pretty hard stuff. It just smells beautiful. Love this scent. The brush I also got from Dennis is an early turn in shave. And it's this one. I'm not sure what the knot, what knot's in it, but, it's 20, but I believe it's 24 millimeter. And it's just absolutely beautiful brush. I believe this is what um, the fellow from Turning Shaves, I can't remember his name, um, what he calls his bishop style handle. And I will be using, ta-da, the PAA Cube, which I also got from Dennis. And the aftershave is one I got from Dennis as well. So let's go ahead and let's wet the face, or let's get the brush wet and start loading. I hope you all are doing well. I said I would go ahead and give a couple of guys a shout out. Um, I forgot to check. To get their names so at the end of this video I'll go ahead and um, when I go to edit I'll sit there and I'll find their names before I do the editing it is a synthetic brush so just wet it and go You know, it's November, and man, it's still warm out. It's cool right now outside, but today wasn't bad. It was kind of warm. Yep, that's a good load right there. Probably could have went ahead and used that ladder worked up off the puck. But for appreciate, but I got the PAA cube. So here we go. Nice and wet on the face.
nice layer of slickness here for underneath the for underneath the soap and rinse my hands off here guys Here. I just love the smell of this orange sunrise. chance to I'm um, starting to figure oh tomorrow or the next day I'll go ahead and start catching up on shave videos today was just kind of hectic Soap running down the handle of the brush. Get that off. Thank good. So. Heat the blade up real quick. with the grain. I've got about hmm, three days growth, even now. I posted the video this morning. It's kind of busy for a day or two, so Days of 
whiskers to come in. If you are new to this hobby, my style of shaving, and you come across one of these flare tips and you're wanting to get into the old vintage Gillette's not a bad place to start at you can find them for pretty reasonable prices on eBay all right, this oh, little right under the nostrils there. A little quicker than <laughs> using a washcloth is a little quicker than um, sitting there and splashing water up on your face. Hang on, guys, let me get a drink. I think in my next video, I haven't done a shaved in tour since 2017, so I've gotten quite a bit of stuff since that last video. So, think about doing that. Paul H. I watched Paul H. video today. Um, and uh, yeah, I was using a Braveheart razor from Executive Shaving that some of my visitors sent him to check out. Um, they could borrow. So I'm a pretty nice razor. And, um, he was doing a Remembrance Day Shave for the veterans in the UK. Ken Surf did a video using Angels, I believe Angels 12 from Victory Shaving. I didn't get a chance to watch that one. the growth. So I got this razor from our that used to own this razor or two vet fought the Nazis over in the European theater. During World War II. Um, he was a heck of a guy. Heck of a guy. 
my girlfriend at the time. When I went to meet her grandparents for the first time, she's all, well, my grandpa's never liked any of my boyfriends. That much. So, he's a hard one to get to know. But, him and I hit it off pretty well. No. His stepdaughter that I got this razor from. She told me, she said, I think he'd like you to have it. So I said, okay, cool. So it's kind of a special razor to me. It's definitely one that won't be leaving my den. Every night I was, or last night I went to take out trash. Where we live, there's two dumps, or there's an apartment building complex next to us. And when I first moved in, it was owned by different people. This, com this, these apartments here. And uh, somebody had taken, figured it was some workmen from for the owners of the apartment complex next to us. Hold the dumpster around the corner because the fence is like a fence, a wooden fence that runs behind the apart, the two apartments, the duplex on the side my mom lives on. And um, completely filled and the dumpster is usually is in an alley behind my mom's duplex, across from my duplex. And then uh, some workmen, it must have been workmen for the other complex owners, went ahead and drug it around and filled it to the top with concrete and wood and other building construction stuff. So in the, dump, the garbage trucks, they was like, no, the drivers was like, no, we can't dump that because hydraulics ain't made to lift that much weight. So, I had to contact the handyman and have him come out and he brought a pickup truck and some friends and they ended up pulling, oh, that's doing nice pulling everything out of the dumpster and loading in a truck to take it off against the grain. Well, last night I go take trash out and um, I'm like, where'd the dumpster go? I tell my girlfriend the dumpster's gone and she, I couldn't find it. I looked around the corner and I really wasn't finding it. And turns out somebody from that complex over there I don't know if it was a workman or what. Loaded it completely full with old furniture, wood, other stuff. And, um, to where it was over my girlfriend's head. It was so piled up. And she's six foot, almost. So... More I called the management company and told them, said, hey, I don't know who did it, but
somebody had filled that up with debris. So I gotta get somebody out here to empty it. That was fun. I had to come back and set the bag of garbage out on the back patio. Because my girlfriend said, you can't eat, you know, if you throw it up there, the bag of trash up on there, it's just going to roll off. Anyway, that's the third, third pass. Oh, just a little bit right there. Yeah, so Razor Rock Soap is pretty good stuff. It's triple mail what the puck stuff. It's cheap enough, it's like six bucks a puck. Which ain't bad for triple mill because triple mill will last you for a while. Anyways, so let's see here. Yeah, well, a little bit right there. Anyways, that's a shade. See you in a minute for the post. That was an excellent shave. Oh, a little bit of a spot down here. on anyways but yeah it was a good shave um a lot of people says that super speeds are a little too mild for them but i like aggressive razors i like mild razors i like everything in between so depending on my mood depends on what razor i pick but since today's veterans day or tomorrow i should say is Veterans Day, which this will be posted tomorrow, and I will go ahead, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but here at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and give a shout out to the ones that I wanted to in the last video. Um, you know, gives a great shave, considering who it came from. Very, very proud to own this ra the, that razor. Um, the soap, great soap, brush, wonderful, and quite a quite an eye catching brush on that uh, at that as well anyways so let's go ahead i hope that uh whatever you all do for this veterans day i hope you all have fun i hope you enjoy yourselves and you know if you know a veteran wish them happy veterans day And thank them for their service to this nation. And one other veteran I want to give a shout out to is my friend Jim up in Washington. I know he's he's not a subscriber to the channel, but he was 20 years in the U.S. Army. Well, between his U.S. Army and his U.S. Uh, um, National Guard service he served a full 20 so happy Veterans Day to him too anyhow so that was Dickinson's witch hazel wonderful stuff I've had this for a number of months now and I still got enough for another month or two and since I used uh, you know since it's all veteran since most of my bombs or a couple of my bombs were given to me by Dennis I'll go ahead and I'll use one this is a uh, sterling um, Arcadia wonderful wonderful bomb aftershave bomb it's a little heavy and you can tell it as you're putting it on but it doesn't dry like a heavy bomb it dries quite well but it really just feels wonderful wonderful on the face and the smell is just 
except it's just wonderful, wonderful scent. I really like it. Probably next sterling soaps I get, I'll probably include, you know, tub of the Arcadia as well. Because if the soap smells anything as good as the bomb, which I'm sure it will, then I will be quite happy with it. And the nice thing is, since it's a thicker bomb, very little is required. It almost dries almost feeling tacky, but once it dries, all that tackiness is gone. And it doesn't take long to absorb into the skin. It just leaves your skin feeling really, really nourished and just really, really, really soft. And like I said, the smell is great. And to top it off, an aftershave which Dennis sent me, which is Maggart's Orange Menthol. It's got a beautiful scent. Um, I'm pretty sure that it was made by, what's her name? Um, oh, I forget the lady that makes all their soaps from Through the Fire Fine Craft. I believe it's Marie Armin or Maria Armin, but as far as I know, she makes any other in the you off know, there Maggart brand soaps, she makes them. So, yeah, Maria Armin, and um. I've had one of her soaps. It was a sample I got uh, several years back. It was London Barbershop. That was just a wonderful, wonderful soap. It lathered well. Had a great post shave. Anyways, so yeah. Mm, love the scent of that stuff. That's a. Uh, that's the shave, guys. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, video as much as I made making it. Anyways, um, uh, once again, everybody have a wonderful Veterans Day. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Have fun. Be merry. And uh, I'll see you in the next video and on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now. All right, let's go ahead and go with the shout outs. I have an earbud in because I've got three names here on my Victor Reader, which is a special device that the blind use for taking notes, um, downloading digital books, music, stuff like that. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna be using that. Anyways, one gentleman who is a blind gentleman, not DE Shaves or DE Shave, but another blind gentleman who went ahead and subscribed a bit ago. I cannot find the thread um, or the video where you and I went ahead and talked back and forth. So let me know your name down in the comments and I'll go ahead and I'll give you a shout out. The first one, not sure if he is a subscriber or not. I imagine you are because um, you've commented on more than one of my videos. And that is Off Duty 22 is his YouTube name or her YouTube name. Um, the subscribers that I know are definitely subscribers are Kobe Levi. Duncan, and if I butcher your last name, I apologize, but my um, uh, speech programs, they pronounce your last name as Rosalaire. If I messed up your name, I apologize. I did not have anybody here with me that was cited to go ahead and see what your last name was. Anyways, those are the three shout outs I wanted to get. Hope you all have a happy, safe, wonderful, and enjoyable uh, Veterans Day. Bye now.